Alright guys, we're in Baron and we're heading out today. And oh my, we are in what they call the deep doo-doo. Um, you should resurrect myself. Oh, well how else can I speak to you? Anyway, we're about to pay a horrible, horrible price for being amazing. And that horrible, horrible price is we have to try to go through the road to Rhone. Or the Rhone Cave if you prefer. And it is just going to beat the living dog j- I was going to say dog shit, but I don't say dog shit. And then it sounded like it was going to say a J sound, and that doesn't sound right either. Anyway, we're going to get the bejesus brown beat out of us, and that's just how it is. And of course, our step guard wore off, because hey, we moved more than half a foot, so... One of these hides an item, I think. Come on, which one of you hides an item? Any of you? Am I crazy? Over here, maybe? There's an item in here somewhere. There it is. An agility seed. Well, that was highly important that uh, we got that. Because we need Beth to have as much agility as possible. Alright. You get out of here, you just walk out the bottom. Hey, there's a guy. Let's talk to him. Hey, dude. It's a Korean! Okay, I won't hurt you. You must be one of the South Koreans. Okay. That's phenomenal. And yes, we took a bit of damage, but things happen. Things happen. Hunter dropped a treasure chest. A spear. We just got a hunter's spear. That's, uh, kind of gross, truth be told. You know, let's just keep casting step guard, because we have the magic to waste, honestly. We go out here, and we're going to use an item. Who has the evil thing? Oh, by the way, Gary now has a fur robe. Also, I won amulets for uh, Gary and Brian by killing ba basilisks. So, you know, that's going for it. I mean, Harry Potter gets the kill off of Horcrux, and all I get is... I mean, what? I don't know about Harry Potter. That is pretty cool. Eat your heart out, uh, Cerebrex. All right. We are in a vicious, vicious cave. There's not a whole lot we can do about it, so let's just walk upwards. And we're going to see a lot of enemies you may recognize from before. Hopefully we're able to kill them before they do a ton of damage. And these are these are the nice enemies in here. Yes, there's actually nice enemies in this cave. Alright, so let's go up here. What's going on? I, must, I thought there was like a hole over here just to fall in. There it is. What's this say? Oh, what's this say? Oh, what's this say? Nothing. Whoa! Hi. Okay. <laughs> I like how he's hiding. Dude? Are you done? <laughs> Alright. No, no, I'm sorry. You can't stay here. This is dangerous. Yeah, you can't stay here, dude. Just go. No, he's just gonna be walking back and forth like a tool. Alright. He's entitled to his opinion, no matter how stupid it is. And let's cast some Step Guard. Because that'll be exciting. Let's go to this treasure chest over here. And what do we get? The Life Seal. Yep. The last seal is found in the cave to road. Or the road to road, if you will. Alright. Are you kidding me? It's... Mm. I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, oh, this can't be too difficult at all. Because Brian isn't really dealing with any serious problems. Or maybe it's this staircase I want to go up to the next floor. Let's do that. Alright. This is the first floor that kind of has a maze element to it. If you don't choose the wrong path, you get spit out back at the start. So you don't want to do that. So, you want to go left into the darkness. Turning left past the first two branches. Going down into the third room to find the staircase to the next floor. Otherwise, you're going to do a lot of exploring. And this took a lot of trial and error for me. And look at that. We're on the next floor. All right. Let's go down first. There's all kinds of treasure on this floor, including a very important piece of armor. But first, we got to deal with the Orc King and his, his little minions of doom, I guess. Let's make sure that Gargoyle dies. We can kill one of these guys in one turn. That'll be that'll be good. Gary can start weakening him up. Sure, cast heal more. Give me a free turn. I'm, I'm good with that, dude. 
I'm good with your little snout nose and your spear not getting a chance to whack me upside the new noodle nog in here. Okay, now it's just getting old though. Okay, seriously? Seriously? Enough already. Don't make me actually have to waste magic on you. When you idiots get a critical hit, would you please? There we go, finally. Nice experience of gold in here, though. Although gold is kind of useless to us at this point. Oh my. Okay, berserkers and gargoyles. Remember how I was afraid of hunters? Berserkers are just worse. Just straight up nasty, nasty. At least they have very few hit points. That's why Berserkers are dangerous. They, they hit Bryn for 23 damage. That's that's impressive. That takes a skilled enemy to take that much out of him. And unfortunately, those two didn't team up and kill the Berserker that time. And get used to me healing, because if I show it to you, if, after fights, I'm going to do a lot of healing. There's nothing in here. Well, Fig Newtons, I say to that. What's over here? Anything? No, so I'm just wandering stupidly and wasting time. Now some of you may be wondering, how come good old Brysolf isn't, um, you know, exiting with that seal and going to find Rubus, the Earth Elemental? Well, there's a good reason, because there's a way in this cave to exit from a later on point, and I'm choosing to get as much treasure out of here ahead of time as I can. Anything over this way? No. I think I want to go this way. Because I think there's a staircase down here. And it's not down here. But the treasure in here, there's a lot of good stuff. And if we can get it all in this run, we can then save on the outside. We'll have it for the future. And we can just plow our way through the previous floors with ease. Uh-oh. Flames. Not good. This is definitely not good. I wonder if I can firebane these guys. I'm not seriously that, that afraid of them. So let's see if we can hit them with some magic. And they're not affected. Oh, this isn't good. There's nothing worse than wasting magic points on attacks that aren't going to hurt them. Of course it's not going to hurt them. We just have to slice them up. Well, yay for small favors, I guess. They can do group fire attacks. Hopefully they will die pretty quickly. Yeah, let's see what he does. Breathe fire. That's not horrible. I think it's when they spew flames. That's the dangerous one. Like that. Holy crap. See what I mean about the dangers in this area? You can just get murderated. Um, and they dropped a treasure chest. Magic armor, cool. If I actually needed uh, needed uh, some some boosts and stuff, that'd be good. But uh, unfortunately, that's way below what I need at this point. All right, that probably oh, it did heal my whole way. Good. What's up here? Ooh, a treasure chest. Lodo's armor. Here's the armor I was talking about. So now, you don't have that, do you? No, you don't. So let's pass the spear off to Beth, because as we all know, she wants to have a spear. Okay, maybe not, but still. And she can give up Lodo's armor and pass that over to uh, Brinley Brin, who is a manly man, I assure you. And he gets a wicked boost, and now he will no longer be damaged by um, damaging uh, tiles. So only one person doesn't get that advantage in this game. Which is Gary. The one with the least amount of hit points right now because I've been really boosting Princess Moonbrook as best I can. Brim is promoted to level 24. Hit points, good strength, good guard, and agility. Alright, all good numbers, honestly. We'll take anything at this point. We are not picky in the least. This is not the way back. You think I, you know, would have some idea of where I'm going, but frick, no, I don't. Let's continue onwards here. Once again, getting back to where we belong. Alright, we almost back. We must almost be back there by now. That's the thing, the encounter rate's pretty high in this place. You don't want to screw around too much. And I think this is where we want to go next. Uh, holes on the floor there. That, that's real encouraging. Alright, come on now. There's a staircase, that's a good sign. Once again, going up an extra floor, that's good. And the treasure chest, that's also good. We find a magic hat. The magic hat is a very interesting item. Because anybody can equip this, except for maybe Bryn. He wouldn't want to equip it anyway. Wait, okay, she can't equip that, just a weapon. Yeah, okay. 
It gives her a little bit extra defense, but it also lessens the cost of her magic spells by one point per cast. So, Humor becomes a four magic point spell instead of five. That's a huge deal. And as I said, she's going to be our de facto healer as much as possible. Oh man, here's that nastier metal hunter I was talking about, and magic vampires. Oh my, they probably sparkle in the sun and stuff. Die, 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 damn. At least they can't hit for too much. Let's see how badly I'm going to get whacked by Robostra. Look at that, look at that. Oh, that, that's excellent. Let's knock our defense down. That's, uh, that's just freaking great. Actually, knocks it down by two, so it's a hill more than three now. That's excellent. Get him back up to health. Oh, good lord. Thank god. They don't always attack twice per turn. Good. Good. I'm not getting remotely nervous now. Let's just try to keep people alive, because keeping people alive is important. Otherwise, I can't. That's the thing, their defense is ridiculously high. So you gotta fight them very carefully. Okay, die, die. I know you can't hit hard against good dude. Wow, almost a thousand experience for that. See, now we're getting into the nasty stuff. The truly mean and horrifying stuff. And if you ever have to, outside return. It'll take you back to Baron, you can fill up. You know, if you want, you can buy a few herbs to offset some of the magic point. Uh, cost, and you'll probably gain a level or two by traversing in here, and it's better than getting killed, although... Although dying at this point uh, isn't going to cost you a whole lot, because... Well, there's really nothing else left to buy at this point, because I've fought everything for them. Yes, I did get that fur robe, as I said, so... And also, something else to remember in battle, if you want to save Gary's uh, magic points, his heal shield you can use as uh, an item, which casts heal more. But it's not the most punishing, you know, it's not the most useful thing, but it is good to have if you're desperate to save magic points. You can do it in a pinch, like that's if you need to do two heal mores in one turn. But typically you're just gonna stick to Beth and use hers. Cause Beth can't hit for beans right now. She does learn a good attack spell, but it's uh, still a few levels away. That's the thing, this game kind of expects you're gonna grind a whole bunch and you're going to be good to go and ready to deal with all the mass occurring masses out there. As much, bad as they can deal it out, you can deal it out just as swiftly. Uh-oh. Dragons. Save me from the wee dragons. Gary might be a little hurt, actually. A little hurt for our needs, honestly. Yeah, there's, there's the danger. The fire breathing is danger. Let's cast a little heal more on Gary because he's a little weakling. I can see why he ticks me off so oh man, he really slaughtered that guy. <laughs> Don't spew for Jesus Christ on a crap barrel. In fact, let's let's do that now. Let's use that. Let's have her cast heal more on uh, on Bryn. Bryn should have taken most of the heat off of us. And there you go, Gary gets a free heal more in. See? It is a useful thing to have at times, because the enemies in here can team up on you pretty nastily. And dragons are right around 80 hit points, but it fluctuates. That was 81 damage, and he just shrugged it off, so... Never count on 80 being the magic number. Because you'll find out pretty quickly it's not actually the magic number. Oh yeah, Gary, how's your magic doing? You're doing okay. Remember, you gotta keep 12 for him, so he has that outside and return capability. What do we got here? An attack. Alright, what do we got? 567 gold, which isn't that important. And an evil shield. Well, baby, let's take a look at that evil shield, shall we? Yeah, yeah. She can't equip it. But if she could equip it, it would be like the most amazing defense. You'd be like, I should equip that. But I believe what happens is if you're wearing that, uh, using that item, or equipped it rather, uh, it's cursed, of course. And it'll, I believe, cause you to um, freeze up periodically. So it does give good defense, it's not a liar in that regard, but it'll freeze your character, and it's just it's better to be more reliable than have good physical defense. It doesn't help against uh, elemental spell users and such. Oh boy, things just keep getting nastier and nastier here. Alright, the next job is, we got to find a split in the passageway here. As I said, this floor is rather huge. Alright. We'll go up here. Okay. We're on a floor that's filled with holes 
everywhere, okay? So, for now, we're just gonna step right down and find ourselves a hole in the floor. All right, in this large room, there's nothing in it save for a staircase, a staircase, a staircase. The goal is not to go to the top right corner. No, our goal, which is where the staircase is, we want to go out of the bottom left corner. Because, as we all know, going the opposite direction of the staircase makes perfect sense. Oh man, what do we got? A disciple. This could be bad news for everybody. Let's try to kill that flame before he, he hit hauls everything to death. Oh, that's not good. Thank God he's did a regular attack, because Rin's normally not that slow. And he gets two attacks, of course, because... What, what would be more fair than that, honestly? What would be more fair? Nothing, that's what. Nothing at all. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Actually, no, that's what it feels like to the Disciple. That's the worst about them. They can cast defense and then attack you and do like a double dose of bull crap like that. Which is not cool. So, we're in this corner. Oh, uh, there's nothing here. Well, let's leave. What's this? Why, there's a hole here. And there's a sword. The Thunder Sword. But we can't take it. We have too many items. Why is that somewhat somehow amusing to me? Uh, fine. Let's get rid of the spear. Toss. Yes. And let's pass uh, the Gaia armor down to Beth. We can't believe we managed to fill our items like that. And then we can't believe I didn't get the right button press. The Thunder Sword. Thunder Swords are so so good. Thunder Swords are awesome. How awesome are they? Shablam! 25 more attack power, and it can cast uh, lightning when used as an item. So, that is excellent. Now, this is the, the turnaround spot, if you will, if you want to try to run away from this place. You can fall your way down to here. It leads down to this place, and you just walk straight up and hit another hole, which lands you down on the second floor of the cave, which is where you entered. Or you could just use the outside return. Like I'm about to do. Cast and use the turn to go to Baron. However, I'm just gonna quickly heal up and we've got some place to go first. Some of you may remember me saying start talking on out of my bum about stuff. Yes, my bum. I said bum. Get over it. I bring the harsh language on these videos, as you guys well know. So we're gonna wander on over this way and get in our ship. And we are gonna set sail question is, where do you want to set sail to? And it, you may remember that one little pixel island between Laurasia and Osterfair. That's where we have to go. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Now that we're here, you'll remember this place with the indoor waterfall and saying, this place would be great to live in. How exactly is the rent and all that fun stuff? Well, that's really irrelevant to the conversation because we're coming down here. We're coming hard. Coming strong. This is getting away from me. Beautiful voice echoes. You must be the descendants of Loto, I know. 
You did. Didn't you already ref like fulfill it like once already with him? Like, thought about evil illusion to use it. It will surely help you. <laughs> oh Lord. Yes. Yes, here we go again. Hooray, the Rubus Charm. That is pretty sweet to have a god on your side. But I think that's going to do it for today. So join me tomorrow when I'll be back on the road to Rhone. On that nasty, nasty floor, I said, with all the holes in it. And I'll show you how to get on through. Or how to break on through to the other side. Without dying in Paris in a bathtub. Or did you? Who knows?